Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location, you are tuned to our UAG Grand Disbursement Update. Man, the, the beef is really going higher and tougher. Now, the thing now, they are saying that is the press conference that will solve all this problem. So, they are moving forward to see how they will do international press conference. And what this entails is that this international press conference will involve those that brought the grant telling those that brought the grant that the money have not been disbursed yet to. They say it's government. UAG says it's government. And government is keeping quiet. UAG is keeping quiet. So just listen to this update. Listen to the continuation of the of the broadcast that was done gearing towards press conference uh, update. See you on the other end. I got my man, the man, the new kid on the block, Prince of Worry, on the hot seat. You're welcome, officially, sir, once again. Mr. Prince. Hello, Mr. Prince. Thank you very much. Now. Thank you so much. Now. Thank you. Uh, All right. So I want to hit you with this question. Uh what is your take on the your beef? The beef uh going on between uh uh what's his name? Um the chief and uh the other guy, uh the chief beef that is going on in the grants community, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you for that um, question. Well, I just joined your chapter. I never knew you were going to put me on hot seat, but I'm ready for any hot seat as long as my hands are clean. Even the one that is hotter than this, I'm ready for it. You understand? So, you said something. My beef between I and um, Chief Akogu. I don't have beef with Akogo. I only have beef with his attitude and character. He is not straightforward. Whoever that is not straightforward, I have issues with them. When Akogo came to Grand Community, he was someone that everybody respects so much. He was so truthful. This was the same man that came out and said we should not go for verification because of what he was saying. And there is something he always say that I am and I am in the picture. So for you to be in the picture and you start behaving funny, it, it's all for explanation. I don't have issues with uh, Akogo. All I want is that he should come out and tell Nigerians the truth because he has always said that he is in the picture. That is just my challenge with him. He should stop saying something he is not sure of. And I believe whatever that man have said, because of his attitude of late, whatever he have said, is he, he said it intentionally because he has been bought over. That is it. They are using him to come and calm Grant's community. If I were him, I would, for the now, I would just keep mute. Because to me, I don't know of other persons, to me, he has lost his respect to me. I can't respect him anymore because the integrity he used to have he has them no more someone cannot come and tell you I, will, I am fighting for the masses and you are killing the masses you can just imagine if you see someone that is fighting for the sorry for using the word masses if you see someone that is fighting for the nigeria subscribers in grants community you will know you don't need oracle to tell you you will know that is the reason I always say something that nobody is fighting for anybody because these names have been abused. They've abused the name fighter. They've abused the name apostle, prophet, bishop, and so on and so forth. They've abused the name. That is just the basic truth. If anybody that is answering prince in grand community comes out to start misbehaving, I will change my name instantly. I will change my name. Because I don't want to associate with any of those names anymore. The thing is so annoying. That is just what I have to say. I don't have facing up beef with him. I don't. But he should stop deceiving Nigeria. He should come out and apologize. He should come out and tell Nigeria masses the truth. Because he knows the truth. And whosoever that knows the truth that refuses to say is an accomplice and an accomplice with who committed the crime they are all criminals they are all uh, is the same when you go to court it's the same thing someone that attempted murder and a murderer is the same years you spend in prison so an accomplice with 
the one that committed the crime that scammed the nigeria subscribers they are all scammers so that's what i have to say sir thank you very much all right that was prince the new kid on the block on the hot seat it just dissected the question anyways i want to tell the grants community that i've invited you know i have to put a phone call to uh chief akogo th uh, thrice yesterday that was two days ago too he had to cut it twice and he never responded and i chatted him up on whatsapp he never responded so everybody that was talking to me that i've been talking to me or to put him on the hot seat i've tried my best possible to to get him even to to hear his voice he never called back nor even pick my calls so that was just that so you guys should start bothering the electrifying heat man about putting a uh, chief akogo on the hot seat to hear his his, or his own side of the version of the story so he needs to come up or anybody need to make dates between uh me and him or you have to put a phone call to him to get him on the hot seat so if he obliges my request or my invitation to be good so that is just that anyways this is still the chat show powered by hits me foundation and piloted by the electrifying hits man i am michael anyways uh prince for worry the new kid on the block uh what is a dissatisfaction uh, if i should put it this way about the press conference as people are questioning the duration uh is long overdue i know that money you know powers everything so what do you have to tell the masses to buckle up things because the beneficiaries i can't even put the word beneficiaries the subscribers are more than the grand handlers so if each subscriber should pay thousand bucks which a thousand bucks as i just uh, elaborated uh the press conference how it would look like because i was watching the united states uh, secretary of defense press conference going on in the united states you can see the numbers of press you know the the tv station radio stations that were bimping the cameras everything and it was being covered live so that is the, the kind of word press uh, conference uh prince from war is about to do with his clicks so you guys need to contribute towards that end uh so so how's the the whole arrangement going i know we're discussing behind the, the door behind the scene on the other angle which will continue after the show so what do you have to tell the message to encourage them to pay towards the press conference sir okay thank you very much uh, well i don't really have much to say concerning the press conference because most people that complain that it's getting too long they are not involved if they are involved and they are partners of the press conference they will not come out to complain because every single partner of the press conference know what we are doing they know how much we have gotten they know how far we have gone so for someone to just come up and say the press conference is getting too long or is getting delayed that means the person is from the other camp of you AG. they just want to use every means to silence the press conference because somebody that is a member of the press conference or a partner of the press conference will not ask such a question Because everything we are doing, we discuss it on our press conference platform, which is the partners platform. The reason the press conference has not been done, you cannot compare, you can't tell me that the press conference has taken a long time. No, grant committee is, the grant now is eight years. Press conference just months here. There was a write-up I put up today. I said the grant handlers that have scammed Nigeria subscribers are very, very few. The NGOs that have scammed nigeria subscribers they are just in thousands they are not even up to ten thousand they are just in thousands why the subscribers they are in millions now i don't blame the grant handler i don't blame the ceos if the subscribers are not ready if they are still if they still want to be in this bondage that is their business because we have been pampering them for long and our vn is like when we are agitating and all of that it's like we are fooling ourselves agitation without action is a empty agitation and very soon 
nobody will hear my voice on social media because my voice have not put money or it does not bring disbursement just argue 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 and it's it's getting tiring that's just the truth if the subscribers can stand up to their feet and say they are ready for the press conference today tomorrow the press conference we hold everything has been put in place like we always say it's just the financial aspect of it and someone will come up and say press conference is free i don't understand what kind of press conference you want to do that is free in nigeria even in outside country you must still put one or two dollars together to organize a press conference press conference is not free we are actually looking for five to six million naira for this world press conference just because we have choose two states currently now if we even have 50 million naira at hand maybe maybe we'll do the press conference in the old 36 states the same day because we want it very loud very very loud but because of the financial struggle and everything the economy system in nigeria we decided to cancel either lagos or abuja we decided to for the now we can't tell you where we are holding the press conference we have beat the money from five million to six million we have beat it down we just need only just one state there is no point doing to work and cover everything it's in you see it is a world press conference in case the the nigeria government failed us the foreigner that brought this money will not fail us they should be informed they should know what the, what we are going through in the ends of the so-called system in nigeria because this so-called grant and last they are still claiming in tomorrow that the authority is the one delaying the money so we want to cry to the authority if eventually we cry to the authority and the authority refuse to answer us then you and they will answer us that's it the foreign body will answer us this is what we want to do I was discussing with one of the uh, CEOs concerning the press conference. Do you know what he told me? He said he believed in the press conference 100%. Mm. But the reason he does not want the press conference is that after the press conference, they might decide to go for new registration of uh, data, submission of data rather, that there, there was a way he said it that after the submission of data then maybe everybody will be uh, both the angels and everybody will be beneficiaries you can just imagine the greediness of man that means because of their own selfish interest they know they know quite well that this press conference will bring results but because of their selfish interest the NGOs refuse to join the press conference they know that this press conference actually will bring what we are looking for it see some of them will tell us that the press conference will, will, will make them cancel the money or whatever my question is that have you gotten the money money for how long do we still want to remain in this so-called grand bondage for how long press conference will make everybody get what they're supposed to get but still they refuse they refuse to support the press conference and the painful part of everything now is the subscribers that that spend their millions they are billions so they are cars some are in fact some are homeless presently they refuse to support the press conference as i speak to you now some ngos are still collecting five five thousand for bundles and the same subscribers are still paying this money so tell me what do you want me to do you don't expect me to come outside to start agitating for press conference why the people i agitate for refuse to support the press conference so i and my team we have chosen on our own not to come outside to talk about press conference anymore but to support it in any way within ourselves because the press conference must is a must is a done deal already it's just a financial stream that is attached to it but is a done deal that is what i cannot come out to encourage anybody because i am affected as well me that is making agitation shouting crying and i am affected as well there are people that are more affected than i do there are people that have lost their siblings they have lost their parents and everything i have not lost anyone but i have lost my properties i've lost my roof over my head i've lost money you understand there are people their situations is more worse than my own but still they would not come to support the press conference to be free 
press conference will not dis disturb disbursement and the disbursement we have not seen it instead it will even bring more disbursement more grants this is what they don't understand so that's what i have to say concerning press conference there is no more i cannot force anybody it's not by fault it's by choice because presently now one of the anger chief Akogo is having that we are collecting money from people that is his anger but my question to him now is that when ken was collecting money he never accused ken he never fought ken now we are collecting money to do the right thing is against us this is where my anger lies with chief Akogo. now you said you are in the picture you collect um, ken, ken has been collecting money millions of naira you can see reverend Oguash, what he's facing today millions of naira you never one day came out to challenge them never because you always say you are in the picture but now we are collecting money to do the right thing you are against us then tell me why will i not be angry with him he's a chief i'm a prince i cannot stand so low to him because he has lost the respect that is what i have to say so the press conference everything is going fine the only challenge we have is finance so whatever so that is ready when grant community they are ready to be free then we the agitator we are ready for them thank you very much all right straight up now i see you just felt that from the uh, new kid on the block prince from worry i want to correct one impression and educate the grants committee and the team the press conference team yo you don't need to go around a state before you make the broadcast in a national the way to do it that is why we are experts in the broadcasting uh, industry i just said uh, earlier that uh, the united states secretary for defense is online he's having a press conference a world press conference about the activities of israel the bombing of the world food center and uh, the bombing of the consulate uh, that is iran consulate in syria so he's answering questions from press that is the press about uh, the phone call between uh, president biden and prime minister benjamin netanyahu so that press conference is being beamed by al jazeera cnn bbc you know all the international stations worldwide but the press conference is being held in the white house but is beamed round you know the world right now when it comes to the international broadcast organizations but they never move the press conference from point a to point b it's been beamed as i speak to you right now in the white house that is the official house of the president of the united states so what am i trying to say in a nutshell this is how the whole thing will roll the press conference can hold in abuja ait we have to beam it live if we can get three powerful tv stations ait channels television including tvc that belongs to the president Tinubu, we have to beam it live and when they beam it live it will be a national thing like nta news you got it national news so when they beam it live all the substations like nta abuja will start being made it live nta lagos will carry it nta Canada, all the 36 states that have nta or ait or channels television or tvc including the ones in west africa africa uh, europe because ait is in us ait is in london edc they will all be meets live that makes it international so when you achieve that if we can achieve that you know aim you beam it live and as they're beaming it live they are recording it as well and it should be telecast it should be a news for them that they will read for about a week and the beauty about the whole shit because i'm an expert in the business i'm just pouring this out i'm not supposed to say this publicly but i've started already bah. so when they record it they'll give copies to uh mr prince the press conference crew which we also put on the social media 
that will circle around it will be a bomb blast so if we can achieve that you don't need to carry you know after doing press conference a in a state you move to the second state it doesn't make sense keep the whole shit in a place in a big hall gather the 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 the, the paparazzi the paparazzi will be there the media houses edc being the whole thing in life for one hour or 30 minutes get all the people on the block there then cover the whole shit. i think the press conference should last for an hour then have duration for five five minutes for everybody to say what they have to say that will even create more rooms for the government to look at it that look i don't know you know the biggest problem we have in the grants community just coming that are happening since 2012 not even 2016 it was me that had to bring out you know a grant they call t uh, to e you know on the chat show that i discovered that the scamming according to what they said i've started since 2012 you can imagine that no most people in the grants community don't even know the name to e as the grant but you know this grant community is so juicy that anybody that is what uh, uh, even uh, admin Ellis, the legendary admin Ellis said anybody can just come to the grant community and make millions overnight because it's so funny you just lie to people that oh you have a grant you start selling clusters illegally or violated the international rules the united Nations rules of grants that are supposed to be free there's nothing like registration for money you subscribe online for free you can't be a, a subscriber and be paying are you doing uh, money doubling like what he said god but what fucking government yahoo boys are bringing in their monies every day into the country how do they do that they don't go through the cbn but they bring millions of of dollars millions of pounds you know millions of euro notes into the country every day as we speak so how they're doing that uh big churches get their donors they get grants if a lot of people don't know they should know today big churches get grants from their international partners churches in the united states they don't pass through the cba and they get this money so when you happen to be an ngo you are non-governmental organization so your business has no business to do with the government because you are an ngo so what i'm trying to say in conclusion is that the press conference doesn't need to move from point a to point b or point c and the beauty about the press conference is that it to creates room the government to look at it okay even the international community the people that organize the press conference will have international connections it will be better to the advantage of the country because international bodies will look at it okay this is what is happening even if some of the players goes to jail but it will bring in more funds the international community will look at it the government will look at it Timberman might call us to the to the to abuja to asorak and talk about it okay you guys are doing a good job you just held a world press conference that brought in that was being internationally worldwide that before you know what's up more aids will be coming up you know more foreign grants will be coming up we'll be having more money than real grants and real people because what is what has been playing since 2012 down to 2024 all the scammers don't have any money they just come to the airspace to lie that they have a grant whereas they don't have shishi they don't have any donor they start selling cluster there's nothing like sales or cluster in the grant there's nothing like support in the grant there's nothing like sponsorship in the grant all those things are totally bullshit it's nothing like partnership in the grant edc you subscribe for it you merit it then you're good to go and you know and uh mr prince talked about some other things which i'll you know divide in later so let's move on with the chat show this is my side of uh, my professional angle on how to get a job done and uh -huh, let me just come in with this maybe we'll talk about that later behind the scene a lot of people are scared about the press conference even the chief everybody but it is doing nigeria's more ham than good we should support the press conference without being afraid of who your ally this is my friend or my scamming partner in the business will go to jail that is the answer of them killing the press conference and you are so ignorant gullible they always believe that there's money somewhere and there's no money anywhere this is the vehicle that will bring the real money because i understand what i'm doing that is why i said it's unfortunate i'm not in abuja 
if I happen to be in Abuja, I don't think we won't call anybody for any support financially. I know what to do. I know the bro uh, the buttons are pressed. I'll get over 50 million and we'll do whatever I want to do and close the door. They won't get support in the national bodies to come, just like what I discussed with you behind closed door sprints. You know what's up. So we'll continue with that format later. So that is just that. Anyways, this is still the chat show. The electrifying hits man, I am a Michael. Just dissected, you know, added his own, you know, view to things that will make things work perfectly in the country. So we don't need to be scared about it. We are all partners in progress. Agitators, there is no way, you know, if you don't like agitators, this thing, look, the way we are going in this grand community, I said, I, I made a write up, that was two days ago. Don't be surprised that we start bringing in grants. All these things we are doing, our chat shows, they are going international. Uh, Mr. Prince talked about it will go off. Don't go off. These chat shows we do, my voice is being circulated every year. Your voice is being circulated. Even in YouTube, I was shocked to get calls from Ghana, shocked to get calls from uh, Malaysia, like that. I, I am a Mike. Even in London, in US, because we got Nigerians in the diaspora that are listening to all these things, that are part of the UAG's grant, Tilbert Grant EDC, they hear our voices and they know what's up. So the embassy, the United States embassy, uh, the United Nations EDC, all the powers there are all feeling us big time. So it's all about when the right time clicks, we finish up what we do, then we heat up them big time, then we start getting the re-grants without the payment of a stipends. If you talk about that, then regrant drop in. And if it's for project, we know that the grants is for project. If it's for you know circulating money on the streets, you don't even need in international donors to do all those stuff. We can get rich people, uh, more national companies. Jesus Christ, more national companies can give us grants. Then you circulate those grants, and even if it's five thousand, there are start from somewhere. Give. Then when you finish that, you send the data to the multinational companies that local. I've given AYZ grants. These are my data. Put phone calls. They will appreciate it. They will, you know, comment on that. That yes, so Ayama Michael actually gave us grants. Five five thousand never came into our bank account. From there, you start growing. Then you take it to the next level. Before you know what's up, more international, uh, you know, uh, companies, organizations will be giving you monies to affect areas that need help people in the village is six people you know you have your ngos have to have you know areas of concentration is it uh motherless uh, uh babies or is it a uh, uh, youth uh those girls that give birth uh, you know uh how do they put it uh those are uh, um uh, uh women that gives birth without a father that is a uh, 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 baby mamas it is like that that needs help before you know what's up all those international bodies will come in to your NGOs. Then you start going to those areas that they need help. And you start affecting them gradually. But nobody want to do the work. You know, everybody just want the magic to happen. Just like the magic has been happening in the grants community like that. Boom. You just wake up in the morning. I have grants. I have this thing. Or blah, blah, blah. People will start keying in. You know, selling clusters for 22 million. 22,000. Before you know what's up. You know, do uh, you know? You can you can imagine UAG have to sell code for four hundred thousand? Can you imagine bullshit code? Huh? It, in fact, that was the first time I heard a code being sold for four hundred k, five hundred k. People are smiling to the banks. You just sit in your house. You made you before twenty four hours. You've made more than ten to uh, fifty million. Look at what uh, the legendary Reverend Waga Chuku said. Before two days, forty eight hours, they've made. Uh, he has made over forty million. But look at uh, the Prince of Warren are crying over those stipends. You know, just five million. Whereas the legendary Reverend Bagachuko made over 40 million in 48 hours. You can see how gullible Nigerians are. So, my people, you've heard it from the horse's mouth. And uh, for me, if you ask in my own view, uh, it's, it's, it's now, we are now in a dicey situation that. We don't even know who to trust. These people that is even shouting for press conference. Are we so sure that when they get money, you know, they will still do what others are doing because this is how these people came like like angels. Now they have turned to demons. So now we don't even know who to trust, but it's not good to sit around and do nothing. 
So if you ask me, we just contribute a little can it's not only five million they need, six million. We'll give them to see if they will do this press conference. But for me, the whole matter is too dicey. The whole matter is too dicey. We don't know who to trust. The ones who've given some money, they have they have just kept quiet and they are just saying what can we do because the government is with them. So guys, that is the update, guys. See you on our next update.